This is such a heartbreaking loss. 51 year old Diane Nugent was actually a volunteer EMT here at the Nottingham Fire Department. You can see the flags at half staff behind me. In fact, she was at a fire Wednesday night, the night before she died. Her mother found her Thanksgiving morning. She was trying to restart the generator. The tears just won't stop for Diane Nugent's mother, Florence. She discovered her only daughter Thanksgiving morning in the barn near the generator. Thanksgiving morning. It happened. Well, she went left in the house here about 8 a.m. And I went down between, I don't know, about 10, 15 minutes later because the light didn't come on. Diane, a volunteer EMT with the fire department, turned the generator off shortly after midnight when she got back from a fire in town. And when her mother found her, the funnel was still in the gas tank and the generator was still off. I went in and I bent down and I, I, and I talked, tried to talk to her. And I kissed her and I felt in her arm. And that's when she took and had the three little uh, kind of, kind of grunting, grunting sound. And then that was it, nothing more. Autopsy results confirm CO poisoning is the cause of death. Diane lost her husband three years ago to cancer. They had no children. But Suri, an 11 year old Siberian husky, was her pride and joy. Diane's mother wanted us to know that she was just two tests away from becoming an advanced EMT. She also worked full time in Portsmouth for long term care partners as a controller. Funeral arrangements for Diane Nugent can be found on our website, WMUR.com. We're live in Nottingham. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.